Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Retro NHL. By the way, great song. The whole soundtrack for NHL 06 is just phenomenal. Just gonna throw that out there right now. League name is gonna be Show, because this is the show. All-Star Game, World versus NA. I'm gonna do East versus West. Go classic in that regard. Two-line pass is the most outrageous rule in the history of the NHL. Actually, that's probably not true. There's probably some rule that I've never heard of that is even worse. In NHL 06, even now, I don't want Jabroni editing my lines. Players fired for missed goals is still one of the funniest things you could toggle in the history of NHL video games. New for NHL 06, substitute your created team or, ooh, that is pretty interesting. I guess this is the first time you could do that. But alas, I shall not take advantage of that because I am going to randomize the team and I will be stopping in approximately now. We land on San Jose, which, yeah, I feel like we don't use them very often. I think it's only fitting that our name is Timothy Jimothy, and I'm just now realizing that I didn't do a fantasy draft, and I don't think you can for dynasty mode, so I think we might have to do season mode. Yep, starting roster is fantasy draft. There we go, okay. Hold on, give me a second. Would it really be a Man of the Rit video without tremendously messing up the setup? I'm gonna say no, it probably wouldn't. Look at what pick we got. Are you actually kidding me? We are only able to draft players with an odd overall, so I will be taking Kovalchuk at 93. Lemieux went first overall, then we have Kiprasov, Nabokov, Forsberg, Jerome again. A lot of goalies, look at that. Are you serious? In the top seven, four of them were goalies. Saku Koivu to play with Kovalchuk. Now we're talking. Jonathan Chichu. Pavel Datsuk did not go to round three. He's 89 overall. Our first defenseman will be none other than Dan Boyle. He is, in fact, a Sharks legend. Wow, goalie overalls dropped off quick. Well, let's go with Burke, 83 overall. And we will take Ninema to be our second defensive draft. We can't take Water Malone because he's 84 overall, but we can take all of these 83 overalls. And on that note, I will be taking Sedin. No way. And we will take Jeff Halpern to play with Sedin. And Kozlov will finish off that second line. All right. I like that there's no salary cap involved for this one. It makes it a lot easier. Jason Arnott, 83 overall will be our third line centerman. I should probably consider taking some more defensemen soon because we are in a dire need. As such, I will be taking Sammy Salo, who had a horrific groin type injury. Look it up at your own discretion. I was going to take Hartnell, but I took him in the NHL 18 draft. So I'm going to take Prospel because they call him Vinny Prospel, but his name is actually Vaclav. And for some reason, my friend and I thought that was just outrageously funny. So let's go with Vinny Prospel. Wow, even on the NHL website, he goes by Vinny. All right, I see you. I thought it was just like a commentary bug, but apparently not. We have three defensemen, so we could take Modri or Breeze Boys. Yes, it's Breeze Bois. And I will be taking him just because he's got a cool name. Oh, there's a lot of gold here that I want to take. I want to take Kari Lightning. I want to take John Graham. I want to take Ty Conklin. I actually have no idea who I should take. My mind has been made up. We're going with Kari. Apparently there's only even overall players left, especially if you're a right winger. All right, there we go. Petrovicki, welcome to the team. I just saw Joffrey Lupel go too, so that's a thing. We still have 283 overall players here. Ruchin will be our possibly even third line, but Maybe fourth line center? Nothing to see here. All even overalls. Brindamore would be absolutely sick, but we already have four centers. I mean, I could play him on the wing, but I feel like in this game it actually makes... I'm going to take him. <laughs> and then I will take Connor Walchuk to be our final forward. Still need two defensemen. What better way to start off the final pair than with Ken Klee? Simply just for the fact that he scored the between the legs goal and then did the Statue of Liberty taunt. Absolutely, Merrick Malik is being a part of our squad. We've already won the Stanley Cup at this point. The draft is complete. We shall auto draft and that will be the rest of the draft. Yes. The most fun part about these older drafts is always going to look at the stats after the season and see who did what and the players that are at the top. Edit lines, what do we have here? Nice. I love it. We get two plus 100s, or I guess plus fives, but line chemistry 100. The two centermen definitely causing an issue here, but that's all right. The first two lines, we have scorer, playmaker, scorer, scorer, playmaker, scorer, and then we have three grinders on our third line, and then all playmakers on our fourth. Defensively, Ninema and Boyle get a line chemistry of 90. Wait, what does this do if I do this? Huh, I didn't know that was even a thing until right now. Then we have Salo playing with Breezebois and Klee with Merrick Malik. In net, we get Burke and Kari Lettinen. So, I know that a lot of these overalls are even now. Actually, pretty much all of them. They all are! What the heck? We don't have a single odd overall on our team all of a sudden. Am I missing one? 
No, I'm not. They were odd when I drafted them, I swear. Well, I'm gonna say we make the playoffs, and on top of that, I'm gonna say that Kovalchuk gets the most points with 90. I'm pretty sure players get a lot of points in this game. Wow, we suck. We are really not doing well out of the gate. Nice little five, six game win streak though. That might change things up. Tom Fitzgerald and Matt Walker for Kent McDonald and but oh no, absolutely not, reject. I kind of like the mystery of not being able to see the record. You have no idea how good or bad you're doing and obviously gonna blow the L's way out of proportion and make it seem like way more than it actually is. Holy, that's a busy month right there. I feel like I am doing what I just said by blowing the L's out of proportion, but I don't think we're gonna make the playoffs. I think we actually stunk. Yeah, we didn't, all right. That sucks. And I guess it's simulating the playoffs for me. I didn't really ask it to do that, but okay. Carolina Hurricanes take it home. Pittsburgh gets the President's Trophy 118 points, 57 Ws on the year. They had a 294 goals for per game, which actually is not up to par with some of these other teams, but they still won the President's Trophy regardless. Their goals against per game, very stellar. Wait a minute, we finished with 44, 31, and 7, and we had 95 points, 13th in the league, and we didn't make it? We had a very competitive division, apparently, because LA, Phoenix, and Anaheim all did very well and as a result we got shafted. Kovalchuk had 101. What a mad lad. That is a lot of points. 60 goals. Chichu put up 76. Koivu 72. Sedin had 51. That's a big drop off right there. Burke played all 82 games. He had a 275 goals against average record of 44. 30. Well I guess he had you know our record and then he had an 85.3 save percentage which Again, I don't know if that's good or bad. We'd have to go check out the others in the league. Yeah, so it's not that bad. He's pretty much on par with most of these guys. Oh, but they were at the bottom. Okay, let's have a look here. Well, yeah, it's still not too bad. Vesa Toskala absolutely lit it up. He had an 87 point nice save percentage and he had a record of 53 22 and oh well i guess that's ties not overtime losses was there overtime losses i feel like there was anyway luongo came second burke is actually up there he did play a lot of games compared to some other goalies but nothing too extreme that does sort of explain why he's up there though because he did play uh, every single game of the season chris pronger led defenseman with 65 points he had 45 hamburger helpers 20 goals adeno chara had 61 points Ryan Leach with 59, 58 from Gonchar. Holy crap, a plus 76, actually a plus 85 right here for Naslin, but they had a lot of points. 138 for Keith Kachuk, 137 for Naslin. Uh, Miroslav Satan got 134. Nash with 132. Hayduk, 130. Brett Hull with 128. I wonder how many times he did that salute celebration that they advertised in the pregame intro. I think he can actually do it. I'm trying to remember now, but I'm pretty confident that he does have the ability to to do that celebration. Billy Garen with a nice amount of goals. That is lunacy. And then we get 66 from Nash and Murray. Shatan lit it up in the playoffs as well, getting 38 points in 23 games. Daze got 36. Joe Sakic with 33. Leach had the most for defensemen with 16. And then we got Buzik with 12 and 11 from John Slaney. Dan Hamhuse at the age of 23 put up 10. And that was only in 14 games. Marty Gerber had 16 wins and 5 losses in the playoffs. An 87.4 save percentage. 223 GAA. Curtis Joseph right there. Robert Esch is at 13 wins. Well, let's go through the awards quick here. We already know that Carolina won the Stanley Cup. The heart goes to Rick Nash. Keith Kachuk gets the Art Ross. Bill Guerin with the Rocket Richard. Brian Leach gets the Norris. The Calder goes to Sean Bergenheim. Vesa Toskala will take home the Vesna. Shatan gets the Lady Bing. The Selkie goes to Jeff Friesen. Fedorov with the Con Smythe. The William M. Jennings is headed to Toskala as well. Yannick Perot gets the Bill Masterton. Rick Nash with the Lester B. Pearson. The Jack Adams Trophy goes to Claude Julien. Wow. Wait, hold on. They have real coaches here? Pity Pens take home the President's Trophy. Prince of Wales to Carolina. Clarence S. Campbell to the Mighty Ducks, and we are back where we started. Here is the right side of the playoff tree, and here is the... Wait, hold on. Here's the left side of the playoff tree. So, that's how everything went down. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Another throwback here as we count down to NHL 23. Can't wait. And yeah, on that note, keep your suggestions coming in for video ideas. I appreciate you guys, and I'll be seeing you soon.